So this is the third step of uh, problem solving. Again, for this one, it's going to be very simple. Okay, so the detailed solution steps, this is also going to be very um, simple and straightforward for now. So we are given this uh, graph that is temperature this way, temperature T and a position Y this way. And we want to calculate heat flux at minus 8 centimeter. So heat flux is related to temperatures uh, by the Fourier's law. So heat flux at minus 8 is equal to minus K del T del Y at Y equal to minus 8. And so that del T del Y can be approximated, like we know the first day in calculus um, uh, is as del T del Y at uh, Y equal to minus 8. So to do this, we take this finite changes. So we pick two points, delta y. So here we have uh, the y equal to minus 8 is my point where I'm interested. So I pick another point ahead. And so this point is at um, minus 9. So at minus 8, the temperature is is uh, 54 as you can read from here and this is about 73 so plugging in numbers this is my thermal conductivity and you can notice the units watts per uh, meter per degrees kelvin and the gradient here the gradient is 73 minus 54 uh, divided by minus 9 minus minus 8. And so 73 minus 54 minus 9 minus 8 is equal to 855 watts per meter square. So the temperature D is decreasing this way so the heat flow so the heat flow is happening in this direction um, and um, the the flux at minus 8 at this point the heat flow that is happening is 800 and 55 watts per meter square. So here is an alternate solution. So we already solved the problem, but there is another way to do things. Um, this is sent by uh, Professor Mark Lee from um, Utah State some uh, time ago to me. It, so what we are given is temperature uh, versus position. So why don't we fit a curve uh, through the data that is provided. So that's what he did. And so now we have an equation to this line. We have an equation to this line, uh, t, equal, uh, t equal to something. And so then from there, we can use Fourier's law in a more analytical sense, uh, dt dy q double prime equal to minus k dt dy. So we just take the derivative of this expression, of course. So we get minus k, and this is the constant. And, um, and then uh, by differentiation, you get this term and the rest. And because this equation is empirical, so you have to say, y is in what meters or centimeters so here the y is in uh, is in meters um, so if you do that then you get this expression 
of q double prime and uh, at y equal to minus 8 if you plug in then you get q double prime equal to 771 watts per meter squared notice it is not exact it is not exact um, of what we got earlier this can happen because we uh, fitted a line uh, for once and in the other the graphical method we also uh, linearize things when we took two points and we kind of drew a line through it that's not that's not exact either so, so uh, both of these can bring in um, errors and, and so that they are not expected to match so here we just plotted that same um, equation for temperature uh, as a function of y and on top of that we have also uh, plotted heat flux so you can see heat flux uh, which is this axis here so it's highest heat flux is increasing in this direction um, and um, this is my position y now this way and so heat flux is highest at the bottom here so at the bottom is high high value and at the top here is low value of flux low flux and here it's high flux uh, and what is the reason for it uh, so heat is mostly being sub uh, heat is being supplied from the bottom and so if you take any two uh, sections two locations then there's more heat coming in than going out from the section why because some of the heat goes into heating up this section which is the purpose of two so more comes in than goes out which means um, the heat flux would be higher here than here that's exactly what we see